Hello everyone, how's it going? Today I'm going to be sharing another very huge mistake that I see um, that's very common in uh, specifically beginner uh, gameplay, but honestly it's, it's less drastic but it still happens uh, with, with more advanced players. So um, let me go ahead and show you it and explain it to you with an example of a real time that this happened. Uh, I got this game in, uh, suggested to me by one of my viewers, so here's the comment. Uh, so first of all, thank you so much for, for the game. Uh, and here is, is one mistake that my, the, the person who sent it to me did. Um, so we're going to be commentating on it um, and explaining what maybe you should have done instead. Okay, so uh, here the mistake that I see uh, is you're playing as black and your opponent just takes your bishop here. And uh, now you're kind of left with two options, either take back with the king or with the pawn. And the mistake, by the way, is taking back or capturing back your piece or a piece with the wrong piece. Okay, so here uh, the person who uh, submitted the game captured back with the pawn, which is a big, a big mistake. It's a huge mistake, um, and it actually it loses the game for for you, uh, because what it does is it takes away the pawn that was blockading this this other pawn here uh, for for from promoting. So now that there's no no other pawn here. This pawn is free to move forward, and now you, you've created uh, a pass pawn. But not only a pass pawn, it's a very dangerous pass pawn, because some pass pawns uh, aren't, dangerous, aren't as dangerous. For example, look at this pawn here. This pawn isn't dangerous, uh, because white's king can always you know, move uh, to the F file and uh, block it. Um, but this pawn here, there's no way to stop it from promoting. Uh, the king simply is not fast enough. Uh, to, to stop it from promoting and you can see as the game continued um, that I mean it was a complete loss from uh, this this moment okay and this is indeed and you can see that you know fair play he's trying to, to promote his own pawn but when your pawn has a queen there's no hope uh, so uh, that that's kind of the unfortunate thing that happened uh, and you can see that here is a very big issue because obviously you should have captured with the king if you captured with the king then the pawn here uh, serves its purpose by blocking this pawn um, and also stopping this pawn from going because I capture uh, and obviously this king can capture back. So the king and the pawn are very nice here. And also the king can, you know, maybe now try to go here, for example, and capture some of these pieces. If the pawn gets pushed forward, for example, here, then the king would be able to capture and then follow it by capturing this piece. So essentially the king would save the game. So you need to make sure that you're capturing with the right piece. And like I said here, it's a huge deal because this, this wrong piece here allows your opponent to promote. But let me show you an example uh, where it's, it's not a big deal, uh, but it still does something bad. Okay, So if we go ahead and go onto the board editor um, and, and let me quickly create a little, uh, a little example. Okay, Let's say that, um, oh, let me take that out. And this is one of the greatest tools that you can use here, by the way. It's, it's such a, an amazing thing. Uh, and I really like it, okay? Let's say you have uh, uh, something that looks like this, okay? And, and I'm not going to, uh, let's analyze the board. I'm not going to fill this up because usually there's going to be more pieces, there's going to be pawns for black, there's going to be, you know, some other stuff. But let's say that this is the basic theme, where you have this king here, three pawns, and a bishop uh, here, and a bishop here, okay? Um, if you go ahead and play this move here, then this is really big error, okay, because the, the big error of this video, the big mistake, is not capturing with the right piece, and it kind of ties in with the fact that you shouldn't initiate a trade where you're forced to capture with the piece that weakens your structure. Uh, so, for example, in this, in this example, by moving the bishop here, you uh, initiate a trade that if black wants, which black probably will want, will capture, obviously, with more pieces, but black will capture the, the bishop, um, and then you have to capture back with this pawn here and you've completely weakened the backbone of your king's support. So even you know a simple check here uh, could be deadly because it forces your king here, and then it can be followed you know, by mate. For example, uh, if, if the king goes here, it can be followed by mate here. Or if the king goes you know, here, it could, you know, it, could, it could essentially lose you the game. It, it could lead to a very quick mate, or it could simply lead for, for this huge disadvantage later on in the game. So you have to make sure that when you initiate a trade, only do so if it doesn't come with a disadvantage for you. Um, so here, um, definitely don't initiate this trade. Um, 
And yeah, this kind of goes hand in hand with the fact that you should only capture with the right piece. So for example, if you had a queen here, right, if there was a queen right here, for example, then this is a perfectly okay uh, move. If your opponent captures, now you have this option again. Do I capture back with the pawn or do I capture with the queen? Definitely capture with the queen because then you, you keep this very nice pawn chain or pawn structure protecting your king. And so you, you, you know, you're, you're better off for the rest of the game. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure you know you take some consideration in what I just said uh, because it, it genuinely is a huge error that sometimes it isn't as big like in this example. Uh, it just it causes this little wax structure. Uh, but sometimes like in that first example, it really loses you the game. Um, so once again, thank you for submitting the game uh, and submit other games if you have any. Uh, leave any you know leave in the comment section any suggestions that you have for me for future videos. Make sure you subscribe if you're new here as well and, po and uh, put on that post notification button so you never miss an upload. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much.